Hello and welcome back to the world. My name is Beast, and today we're back with uh, Furiraba. Uh, I'm just going to apologize. Uh, I kind of started this one hour late because I had to wait a fucking hour for my brother to finally finish in the goddamn shower because I also needed to take a shower. But the fuck just kind of decided to take fucking ages. Anyways, so that uh. The start of this recording marks the end of the poll. So, the winner will be Tsujito San no Junai Road. So, I'm gonna try if the game works. And if I don't get it to work, then Kuisura Natsu no Last Resort gets instead. And if I can't get that to work, then Noble works. And if I can't get that to work, we fucked up because I would have to record ha uh, because I would have to download Happy Mayor first. That would probably take like a week or so. So yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, so last time we left off at the goddamn water park. Apparently, also I already de like deleted. The entire Taito Shukan no Itsujika game. Also, someone actually told me that there's gotta be some voice actors in Tsujito San no Jun I wrote that I know. And basically gave me a list of characters to that have the same voice actor. And I'm to guess which characters in Tsujito San no Jun I wrote have that voice actor. Me Namely, the voice actor for Maggot, Stacy. Tsubame, uh, Otomo, Momoyo, mm, Tamomo, and Nene all appear in Tsujita San no Junai Road. I think by pa Tamomo he probably means uh, Sakuraba, and by Nene he means Ayachi, but the rest should be the Majigoi characters. So yeah, this, that's gonna be like a little name guessing game I'm gonna be doing for my. And you can go ahead and guess as well down in the comments below. Uh, so yeah, uh, what else is that to say? I don't know. Uh, anyways. Uh, we, I guess we'll just go ahead and start. I don't know what else to talk about right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, when we arrive at the water park, Yuzio and I go into our respective changing rooms. Okay, I got my coin case and got my goggles. Huh? Huh? Motherfucker, I forgot my underwear. Sh should I go home and get a new- get a pair? Like, if Yuzu finds out, she's totally gonna brand me a pervert. N no, should be fine. True man doesn't let accidents like this get the best of him. I put the waterproof coin purse into my swim trunks' pockets for safekeeping and head to the pool area. Pools should just sell- have like a store that sells underwear for- in case people forget. You know, I personally have never been one to just wear the swimsuit under my clothes when going somewhere to swim. That was back when we actually did go to places to swim. Like, I would uh, just wear normal underwear and just have all my swim gear in a separate bag. And just, when I'm there, change into my swim trunks, change out of them, and I'm done. Just gonna wrap them in the goddamn towel and put them back in the bag. I don't know in order to air them out once we're back home. I guess that doesn't really... I'm just kinda... I just kinda went off on I don't know, I've been feeling weird all day. Anyways, uh... Ooh, this place is pretty fucking huge! I don't know why I added the fuck in there. There's an extra large water slide, a wave pool, and a kid's pool. Wave pool alone makes it feel like we're at the uh, beach or something. Oh, damn. Those are some pretty risky swimsuits for a family-friendly place. Some of the swimsuits these women are wearing are so damn sexy you'd have guys from age 10 to 100 staring. If Yuzu was on one of those, that nosebleed would be the least of my worries. But honestly, seeing other girls in sw sexy swimsuits just doesn't do it for me. What are you Those girls in super sexy swimsuit, they're forcing the guys to bend over. 
If it was you in one of those swimsuit my bo suits, my bone will probably leave the solar system, but other people just don't do it. I, I need to mentally prepare myself for this! My girlfriend is in a swimsuit! Sure, it's probably just one from s the one from school, but at least let a man get his hopes up a little when he's at a water park. It's not the one from school, we've already saw it. You can hide it pretty fast, though. I figured you would take your, like, longer. Turn around and I'm met by an angel from heaven clad in a bikini. There's still some water in my ear. Oh boy. You look incredible! I literally can't begin to describe how good you look! But yeah, I wasn't expecting you to wear a bikini, that's why I was so startled. That's also a pretty risky bikini, I, f I feel. She actually wore a bikini for me, despite having a complex about her body that she told me about. That slight blush on her face and the way she's wriggling around only served to bring more emphasis to her voluptuous chest. Hot fucking damn is that is a hot fucking damn is the only thing I can say. Her don't stomach, those juicy thighs, and the dirt's and ass as well. It's all in full display. For a moment I ponder on how bikinis are essentially just underwear, but I quickly realize that isn't quite true. There's a certain charm to them that you don't get with underwear, I'm convinced of it. The true char charm comes once you once it gets wet. That was bad, that was bad. Uh, I, I immediately regret saying that. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, that's flat out impossible. Like, hell, at this point, I'm convinced the only reason I never had a girlfriend before was so I could save myself for you, Yuzuyu. This is just heaven! You're the frickin' best! <laughs> well, it's more than just a simple like. Like, I only really describe it, I can only really describe it as heaven. <laughs> He still looks a bit restless now and then, probably worried about the eyes of the other guys around here. But for me, the fact that my girlfriend can earn that many stares from guys makes me rather proud. Uh, well, yeah. You're mine for the entire day today, so don't go worrying about other guys. Alright! Now let us conquer the pools before us, before us, and play to our heart's content. Okay, uh, what do you say we head to the wave pool first? After saying that, I take Yuzu's hand. She squeezes back in return. Yeah. That girl knows just the words to capture my heart. My heart skips a beat and my feet come to a stop. Was that purpose? You're making me embarrassed! <laughs> Ah, uh, just your wait, I'll get you back for this! <laughs> we head towards the massive wave pool, laughing all the way. Looking beneath the water and seeing machines creating waves kinda ruins the image of it, but uh, if you ignore those, it's basically no different than the beach. Boy, I'm getting kinda excited for this! Oh, it's like a legit sandy beach! Oh, good idea. I'm kind of curious about that, actually. I guess it's really no wonder I'm interested in seeing how everything works, considering I'm a dude. Oh, no. One of them is all gonna, like, almost fucking drown, and CPR ensues. We men are always up for a challenge, so it's pretty funny they chose the most challenging surprise event out there. I doubt I'm the only one who gets excited about hearing an incoming about an incoming typhoon, or 
or it gets the urge to go outside in particularly windy days. Same to you, just because you're an experienced swimmer doesn't mean you can't you can let your guard down, okay? Good idea. Uh, doesn't seem that deep. Uh, it might actually be more dangerous to swim. Thus, use your and I link arms as we may wait through the stormy waves. Oh, it's hard, harder to move than I imagined it. It's like my legs are gonna get be knocked out from under me if I'm not careful. A quick look around shows me that many people had the same idea of sticking together like us. Tower Chowed Daddy. Looks like you got a title. <sighs> <laughs> Wanna give it a try, Yuzu? Don't worry, I think I'm pretty light. <laughs> Just kidding! But if we did that, I'd get higher up than that girl. Fuck, I wanted to feel Yuzu's juicy thighs on my sides. I'll beat the sh- Like, one pirate just walks up to them, he just looks over- I will beat the shit out of you if you even dare touch Yuzu. You. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Pirate, like, dude is here! He rides a boat from poolside to poolside as the waves grow mo even more intense. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still, things could get messy if there's an accident, so... We probably shouldn't try anything too crazy. There are families and couples around us in large numbers, playing around in high spirits. The rough waves got me a little excited, but usually you look somewhat bored. What's wrong, not having fun? I suppose for someone like Yuzu, who's used to swimming around a lot more vigorously, just floating around in a swimming ring is pretty dull. And the pirate probably isn't helping that. Okay, so I have an idea. Since we're in a wave pool, why not pretend we're in the seaside? Uh, at the seaside. That might make it more fun. Oh, you don't like the ocean? Uh, yeah, they are gross. Kind of scary, even. But yeah, your love for the pool is pretty odd considering your feelings for the ocean. Guess that make you like a freshwater fish. Oddly enough, that would. Seem that it would seem that Yuzu had, uh, has a pretty strong aversion to swimming in natural bodies of water. Do you like these waves then? So, imitations are just fine as long as she knows it's a pool. Look around, wondering if there isn't anything that I might use to liven up Yuzu. Let's check that thing out. What do you say? Yeah, I reckon it'll be crazy fun. Well, you go pretty fast, so it's like a thrill ride. Is she gonna be bored by everything? Yuzu's already climbing out of the pool in the very next second. Hey, don't run out the poolside! Hey, 
早く早く最速攻撃 anyway use you Mapia got some enthusiasm over but dear me she's getting a little carried away Still I feel excited too so I end up running to catch up with her We spent a lot less time in line than I thought everyone must have been at the wife pool for that event So we're almost here you 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 ready for this <laughs> She blasts out her declaration boldly and confidently. Oh, apparently you write it as a pair. So she says, but she can't hide the excitement on her face. She can be surprisingly blase about stuff like this, but I reckon she'll be fine. Something about the CG tells me that there is a nude version. Her body trembles as she sits down. As she sits down, I think that's tension I spot on her face too. Everything all right? I don't say that. Didn't warn you. It's basically a thrill ride. It even says uh, it's like you're on a roller coaster on that sign there. Apparently, the see-through slide, sudden curves, and jumps are enough to even shake up an adult. Come on, it'll be all right. Did he just suck? Did Did she just fucking say jumps? <laughs> Yuzu is at the start position, desperately clinging to the handrail. I sit behind her and hug her, making sure we're stuck together like glue. Come on, let's go! It's the best position, that's why! Can't just decide you want to quit now! The slider worker into Jack's probably wondering what you should do about Yuzu and her ghastly white face. Um, uh, when I get my girlfriend to let go of her handrails, uh, could you give us a quick push? I whispered to him my request and he agrees in exasperation. Okay, fine, you see you. Take your hands off the bar and I'll let you up. Hi, let's go. Yeah, that those are some tears, Jesus. The staff member gives us a good old push and we blast down the slide. <laughs> I like that guy! Sure, I promise. She seems truly and honestly frightened, twisting around that she can hold on to me. I've never seen her this scared out of her mind before, but I gotta say it's pretty cute. Aw, is it that scary, Yuzu? It's not really that bad. <laughs> well, how else was I supposed to get you to go down the damn thing? They continue screaming back and forth at each other as we slide back down, as, as we slide downward. That was fun. <laughs> yep. He's used still somewhat out of it, so I pull her to the over to the side of the pool so people behind us don't slam into her. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But we were kinda holding up the people behind us and I didn't wanna make them mad. <laughs> like she just <laughs> Again. <laughs> Wait, are you actually pissed at me? Damn, I really did fuck up with that. Honest, she honest, really looks shook up. Yeah. My hands are kind of very annoyingly dry, and I don't have anything to like do anything against that. So I'm just kind of trying to get. Iced tea on my lips, so I can just kind of rub. The <laughs> it's kind of not too, too good, probably. I'm gonna wash my hands after this. Anyway, so. Hmm? 
Say what? You were screaming for mercy just moments ago. <laughs> well, I guess I can go in front if the little skate kid Yuzu who doesn't wanna. Man, she's having the time of her life now. Boy, am I glad I got her on that slide. There's no greater sight than being able to see that innocent, joyous smile of hers. Her face naturally forms into a grin as Yuzu pulls me along. Hmm? Oh, I was just thinking how lovely your, lovely your smile is, Yuzu. You. And I'm a happy camper when I have my Yuzu with me, too. Why don't they give us a push again? We chat back and forth as we make our way to the water slide for round two. We continue to enjoy this wonderful date with... I continue to enjoy this wonderful date with my innocently gleeful girlfriend. <laughs> hey, s slow down! Evening has settled upon us. We left the water park and came to a street near the bridge. It was a tiring day, but I'm more happy than anything. I had tons of fun and got to see so many different sides of Yuzu Yu. Ah, why did I have to go combine today? I'm f fucking on edge! Consequences of this careless mistake proved far greater than I ever imagined. It's insane to think that one simple piece of fabric being gone makes everything feel so chilly. I really should go to a convenience store and buy a pair, but A, I don't want to have to send Yuzu out, out on without me, and B, I don't want her seeing me pair buying a pair and working out the math in her head. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Plus, you look really amazing in your swimsuit, so no complaints by me. Whoop, fuck, 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 fuck. That water slide is like your best friend. I was worried at the start when she was seeming kind of bored, but she ended up enjoying herself a great deal, so I guess they all, as they always say, all's well that ends well. We find a nearby bench and sit down to take a quick breather. Whew. <sighs> hmm, nah, I'll go. I'll go. Save for the inside of my pants, that is! Fabric of my trousers rubbing against my members bad in more ways than one. Huh? How's that? Uh, your your head on my lap. Wait! Uh, um, could, could you please give my lap a break today? This is kind of embarrassing. My not having any underwear on only makes me a million times more conscious of my Johnny than usual. <laughs> please don't rub your head in my lap. Something's gonna get hot and it's up my thighs. But Yuzu continues to rest herself on my thighs, disregarding my inner panic. Must not focus on my journey! <sighs> Need something, anything to distract my mind! So, uh, what, what do you want to do on our next date? Mm. Oh, I like that. If we're gonna do a theme park, though, we should totally check out a haunted house. She's that person that spins the cup as, cups as fast as physically possible, I can just tell. But eh, what she does, what, what she said does sound fun. And it was just a matter of time. Hmm. Just no pure thoughts? Yeah, it just feels uh, so good my neighbor downstairs, Mr. Willy, is having a bit of a growth spurt. Hedge. 
kind of stuck on this bench until it goes away, so yeah, I'd be extremely grateful if you could lift your head. I don't want, to want you to stop by though, but well, the bono unfortunately isn't going anywhere with your head there. <laughs> My horny levels are already at the top, uh, at the too horny point. I can't actually believe I'm feeling a way of relief at her taking her head off my crotch area. But yeah, uh, let me just say it again, your swimsuit really blew me away today. It put me in this really strange mood, like I felt like shouting to the world just how goddamn cute my girlfriend is. Okay, is you. I'm gonna turn myself into a man you can boast about. I don't wanna hear anyone complain that such a cute girl is wasted on the likes of me. So for the sole purpose of preventing that, I'll become the coolest man to ever walk this earth. だから、あんたは私の最高の彼氏で、自慢できるんだから。よすよ。だ、バイバスチビソコスタキュート。本当のこと言っただけだし。ああ、I'm this girl's so precious, and I must be the luckiest guy on earth for having her as my girlfriend. Thinking that to myself, I gaze at Yuzu's blissful face as she stands wrapped in my arms. Hmm. One message received from Yuzuyu. Oh, it's Yuzuyu's daily text. From Yuzuyu. Pool date! Uh, thanks for the day. Thanks for the day, again. I've never really played around at a water park like that. It was a, ton a lot of fun. I'm already looking forward to our next date. Let's visit all sorts of places. It'll be so much fun. How about the beach? You can go ahead and cook one of the fears of yours. There really is nothing you love more than a pool. Maybe you were fishing your previous life or something? I wonder what kind of fish you would be if that were true. But again, being able to swim doesn't automatically make you fish. You could have been a seal or a penguin, too. That's something my mom said to me a long time ago. I said I'd dive. I said I'd dive, I had to give up swimming, and she told me that she was going to start calling me Tuna. Uh, she could have at least picked something prettier, like Mermaid. Tuna is just... Too much of a stretch. Also, the thought of you flapping your mouth open and shut like a fish scares me. <laughs> just one day, Yuzu just walks up to him. <laughs> Imagine raising Yuzu like they raise a tuna. Okay, fuck. There's something wrong with me. Though the idea of rising, raising her does seem somewhat erotic. I don't. I won't lie. Uh, really pulled out. If I were a mermaid, I'd have to be all cutesy, and I'd hate that. Also, I probably wouldn't be able to have sex if I was a mermaid. Would you be able to live with that? What? I, I forgot. Mermaids have no legs! So fuck the. That does practically make sex impossible. Okay, I said my earlier statement. Your best is a Homo sapiens, Yuzu. I sent my dumbass text to Yuzu straight away. And thus the two of us continue to have a fun texting back and forth. Uh, <laughs> and thus the two of us continue to have fun texting back and forth for several more hours. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. on a weekday. Today is one of our actual break days for summer vacation, so no school or anything. I'm lazing about at home watching a talk show I normally don't get to see, as my longing to see Yuzu builds and builds to the point of almost driving me to insanity. That's why my mom suddenly asked me that question. Odd, I thought she had work today. Guess not. Mm, we didn't make plans to do anything today. True, we've been doing stuff out around town a lot lately. I'm 
My mom really seems to like using you. But hey, I'm just glad she approves of my girlfriend. I might actually invite her over now. It'd be tons of fun, plus I'm sure she'll love to hear that my mom wanted her to come over. Okay, I'm gonna go call her. I get up and grab my phone from my desk. Lizzie is at the top of my recent calls list, so I hit her name and it starts ringing. Oh, Rizu, can you talk? Are you free today? She, she really emphasized that last bit. Perfect, uh, do you want to come over to my place? No, that's not what I'm saying! My mom wanted to see you, so she told me to invite you over. Yeah. I really think she likes you. <laughs> oh, she's kidding now. So, is that a yes? <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, in that case, I was pondering what, over what time to tell her when my mom suddenly butts in. <laughs> oh, good idea, mom. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start baking everything, so do you want to come over around one? See you then. Her mom's gonna figure out what's going on. She's gonna come along, isn't she? After hearing her goodbye, I hang up. <laughs> come on, put meat in there. Wait! I stop my mom from heading into the kitchen as she pulls up her sleeves. No, um, I was wondering if you could let me make the curry. Spit out the words, breathing heavily through my nose, one arm in the air. I want to treat you to today. I'm probably not the greatest cook, but I'll probably be okay with curry. I want to surprise her. <laughs> really? Thank you so much, mom. Absolutely, I'll go right now. I fly out of the house with my mom's shopping list and my wallet in hand. I'm not just hanging out with Yuzu today, I'm having her over to my house. Thank you, mom! I'm gonna make this the best goddamn curry ever, I, I promise! I run through the streets, the sun's rays blazing on my back, and my chest pounding with excitement. <sighs> I'm back! It's so hot out there! Running all the way there and back was probably not the best. Bright, brightest idea on my part, but the impulse just took control of me. Oh, Huh? What's Yuzu doing here? Are they gonna be cooking together? Ah, so you came early. Shit, I thought the summer heat was making me hallucinate there for a second. I guess I wouldn't mind seeing Yuzu as a hallucination though. Of course, uh, fake still doesn't beat the, beer, beat the real thing. I don't worry, Yuzu, this time you can just leave all the cooking to us. Uh, well, there's a little bit of a uh, special occasion. See, I'm gonna be doing the cooking. Nope. <laughs> Figured I'd give it a shot and see what I can do. The look on her face says it all. She's just as surprised as I, was hope as I hoped. Now I just have to make the curry so good it doubles as a prize. Oh, by the way, uh, we're having some vegetable curry. I'm, I'm gonna try! I've been noticed to me, my mom had been brewing some tea, which she now hands to Yuzuyu. Yuzuyu bows slightly as she accepts it. Alright then, time to get down to business! I head to the, into the kitchen with a blazing enthusiasm. It just looks at him. Looks at the fridge. Uh, looks at the washing basin. Looks at the vegetable again. <laughs> just chucks it in there. Gotcha! I do as I'm told and start washing the vegetables, probably with soap. <laughs> I 
Wash, peel, cut. Sounds easy enough. When I'm done washing all the vegetables, I move them over to the chopping board and get out a knife. Okay, now it's peeling time. The potatoes look a little uneven and difficult to peel, so I think I'll start with the carrots. Okay, guess I'll go right down the middle! I hold the carrot in my left hand and press the knife up against it. All I'm basically doing is shaving up the outside layer, right? He's gonna do something stupid, isn't he? I'm trying to, but this... Dagon carrot is just so hard! What, what carrot? How does my mom do this so easily? Hey, shut up! I can do this! Uh, I managed to peel the carrots. Not well, of course, but uh, they're still peeled. Uh, now it's time for the potatoes. Every time I lift the knife, I can see easy you flinch, <laughs> which makes me feel kind of bad for her. But I nevertheless managed to finish peeling everything without killing someone. <laughs> The onions turned out alright, though it's mainly because I don't need a knife to peel them. Don't they have like a... Like a... Like a peeler? Like we have like special peelers to use on carrots. Like we don't gotta like... But, uh, go, the, go, go at it with a fucking knife. Like we just use a potato peeler. Now I just gotta cut them up into bite sized pieces. Last time I start with the carrots, and I'll start with them this time too. I think this will be a lot easier than peeling. Here goes nothing! I have to use all my strength to cut it up. Whoops. But these fuckers are surprisingly tough, I gotta say. Whoops. I'll be fine! No guarantees though. I don't know why, but these things are just so hard. When I have thuds on the chopping board as it finally makes it through the whole carrot. But, I was not all of them, but I, I think I'm gonna move on to the potatoes. I'm practically chopping wood, honestly. My mom casually stands beside Yuzu, sipping tea as she watches me. Mother, do you, did you not say you were gonna help me earlier? Alright, I can't get the potatoes! Next up is the onions, uh, but those will be cake. The carrots uh, are probably just tough because they grow on the ground or something. Wait, don't onions do that too? Well, whatever. It's not like it matters. Let's chop these babies up! Oh, I'll be fine. Onions are... And right as I'm about to say how easy they are, I slip up with the knife. Sharp blade sinks into my finger. Shit! Onions, you dirty little traitors! You see, rushes over to me. My mom, as uncaring as always, heads over to the shelf where the first aid kit is. S Sorry, I, I guess I wasn't watching out. Man, I thought there was no way I could fuck up the onions. Now I thought about the knife slipping from the roundness and cutting my finger. Yeah, it's just a little scratch. It'll heal up in no time. I'll just leave it alone. The knife sure felt like it's sunk in deep. Uh, I guess not. Uh, my mom hands Yuzu the first aid kit and Yuzu then proceeds to examine my finger. Nah, it's nothing! Sorry, uh, that was a pretty lame display. I'm sorry, Yuzu. Probably tried to press instead of like sl properly slice. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot, I appreciate it. She wrapped a bandage neatly around my finger. Yuzu then takes position in front of the counter and picks up the knife. Pleasant chopping sound fills the kitchen as Yuzu effortlessly cuts to the carrots that were giving me hell. 
can tell that she's an experienced cook. Dang, you're incredible. Okay, let me try now. I like the old cat poor thing. Curl my hand up, push from the sun opposite to the knife. Ooh! Clearly cut through the vegetables, using not even half the strength I was using before. Well, I guess I learned something new today. I proceed to cut the carrots and... I proceed to the carrots and cut them the same way. Ah, so this is basically just how you use knives in general. I finish cutting up the vegetables, then get the beef out of the fridge and proceed to cut that too. <laughs> With you teaching me every step of the way, I managed to finish the rest of my chopping duties without injuring myself again. <sighs> I did it somehow. I never thought just cutting things up would, could be so difficult, but thanks to Yuzu, I got through it all. Now I just gotta keep this energy going and finish the curry! <laughs> My mom, having watched us this entire time, throws in her comment. Yuzu's <laughs> face goes bright red from my mom's like teasing. But I'm far worse, I'm so embarrassed I'm about to start shaking. <laughs> yeah, that's true! That's the closest crop there is, mom! <laughs> Hiragi and my mom both smile when they see me desperately try to hide my embarrassment. All that's left is to mix the ingredients in the saucepan and make so sure nothing gets burned. The finishing line is finally within sight. Good job, me, you stupid bastard. You fucking did it. I raise praise myself as I glance over the living room where my mom and Yuzu are resting. They're sitting next to each other watching some kind of variety show. It's a bit strange seeing them together on the couch, but it's, that's just because I'm not used to seeing it. Oh, oh, hi. Mom abruptly says something to her, to which Yuzu sits up straight and startles him. そう、そう。うちの冴えない息子より良い彼氏とかと付き合ってたんじゃないの? fucking rude of the mom. <laughs> no fucking faith. Like isn't it usually like the like at least I know my parents are like that. They have the mentality only other people have ugly children. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's something legitimately my father said to his colleagues. Like, back when me and my brother still were small and could actually be cons considered kind of adorable. Uh, he was just hanging out with his old buds and one said, like, you sure got cute kids. And he's always like, yeah, of course, only only the other, only the other parents have the ugly ones. <laughs> like, that's something my father actually said out loud. <laughs> Apparently, that was a massive surprise. <laughs> Use your nods, her face slightly red. You're telling me? I often have the exact same thought. Don't worry, I count my blessings every day. Actually, more like every second. I'll always treat her right. You have my word on that, Mom. <sighs> the two of them fall silent. Is that something weird to say? <laughs> well, you look rather flabbergasted, Mom. It's probably way too early to be thinking about marriage with my first, very first girlfriend, but hey, if Yuzu doesn't mind. I wouldn't mind marrying her, to be frank. Of course, it would be presumptuous of me to expect an answer from her right here and now, but nevertheless, she responds. <sighs> Yuzu thinks so too. So I guess the feeling is mutual. 
Well, I'll stay with you for that forever, Yuzi. Well, no matter what, even if you tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> like the mom's just over here, just getting all giggly. Oh, all giggly or giddy. Just choose one. Just getting all giddy, like oh my god, this is so adorable, and I actually have a chance of getting grandchildren now. <laughs> well, you know. The way she's blushing, half in embarrassment and half in anger, super cute. Well, I don't know. Is there something funny about it, Yuzu? You? <laughs> Please, stop! The more you go on, the more I remember the fact that I have to actually somewhat fucking down my hair. <laughs> what? Let's not get a, a, a woman my age doesn't want to have to have gray hair yet. Okay, I understand. Funny thing, actually, like one time when going to to take a shower, I did actually see that uh, there was actually some brown hair dye in my in the bathroom. So. uh... Mom's apparently hiding something. Something gray. <laughs> uh, we're probably at fault for those appearing. Anyways, uh. Oh, I totally forgot Mom was here. <laughs> I guess she just kind of sat there without thinking, because it seems the embarrassment finally caught up with her. She's cowering now. <laughs> uh, mom. Crap, this isn't good. This is all our fault. It's gonna take a while before my mom comes back to her senses. There we go. I carry Yuzu over to my bed and tuck her in as she snores peacefully. Was my mom making her nervous or something? She was really worn out, like she's already fast asleep. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Yuzu. Gently stroke her head as I pull the sheets over her and leave the room quietly so as to not wake her up. Yeah, I'll be sure to get her home before it gets too late. I take a seat next to my mom. <sighs> I sigh in exasperation as I remember the curry from lunch. I know, I'm pretty disappointed to be honest. I never thought I'd burn it. Hell, some people like a little char. I personally fucking don't. Uh, well, I was making it for you, so I wanted, to be turn wanted it to turn out great. Screwed up there at the end. God, I just suck. Shouldn't have told myself that things were fine and get ne negligent. I know there's no point beating myself up about it, but it's still eating at me. What kind? Really? Absolutely! <laughs> I love you, Mom! She and I both got up from the couch. Hell yeah, now I could make up for earlier. Immediately headed to the kitchen and started on the dough, with her guiding me every step of the way. Most of the actual work is done by me, with my mom giving me pointers as she stands behind me. Okay. Okay, mix it well, got it. 
Follow her instructions word for word. I need to be extremely cautious so I don't mess up again. Well, she's always so kind to me, so I want to do something for her, in the, for, for, her for a change. Yeah, seriously. She made, makes lunches for me, and even wore swimsuit, she was totally embarrassed and just for me. She actually has a bit of a complex about her body. Honestly, I feel like I'm letting the fact that I have a girlfriend get to my head. First, I only spoke to her because she attracted my attention. Oh, well, yeah, that was only then. It was kind of like, the more I got to know her, the more I talked with her. I just thought I wanted to spend more time with her, to be, to be with her, you know? I know how much I, I went on about wanting a girlfriend, and to be honest, I feel like a complete idiot looking back on that. Mainly due in part to the fact that I actually have one now. My mind is occupied with her 24-7, it seems like. Meeting her taught me that what it truly feels like to love someone from the bottom, bottom of your heart. That's the reason why I asked her out. He seems to have just grown up so fucking quickly. I'm surprised he has not suffered whiplash so bad it snapped his neck in two. She eyes me with an affectionate gaze. Definitely, I won't be careless this time. After that little tangent, I go back to focusing on the muffins. This time, I'll make sure they turn out well. I'll make Yuzu you happy! What goes wrong this time? Either it's fucking perfect, or something goes wrong. It's already past 7pm. Oh, no problem. I wanted to be with you for as long as I could. She smiles at me. Oh, and here. I had a small box containing the muffins over the yuzu. I want to make up for the disaster at lunch. I tasted them myself, too. So they should be okay. I feel free to share with your family. Yuzu hugs the box tightly to her chest, causing her, uh, casting her eyes down in slight embarrassment. <laughs> she gives me a quick peck on the lips. It was so sudden I couldn't hope to hide the, the surprise. Did you hear his tangent? Was she awake? Did you wake up and hear it? She says with a smile. お弁当だって私が好きで勝手に作ってるんだし水着だってあんたに見てもらいたいから選んだんだもんだからもっと素直に私に甘えて Oh, so you were awake. That means she knows exactly how I feel about everything. She flashes me a warm smile and gives me one more kiss. She walks off into her house before I can say anything back. Even say anything back. Just as lucky as me. Normally it's north out embarrassment at something like that, but honestly. Being as crazy as I am for her now, it leaves me speechless. This tur game has turned really nice uh, very fucking fast. <laughs> おお、今今ひらぎさんが挨拶返してくれたよ。その言い方だとひらぎさんに失礼だよ。おはようひらぎさん。よかったら後で一緒に更衣室まで行かない。That <笑> sounds weird. <笑> like, would you like to go to the locker with us? Boy, he's gotten a lot more friendly lately. ひらぎさん。最近よく女子と話してるの見かけるよね。
They will probably think it's strange, but it's who she really is. I can overhear Yuzu's conversation behind me as I speak to Momo. I do feel like people have been talking to her a lot more lately. So yeah, today was all I just hope they put us somewhere easy, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Omera, take it scare. これから担当場所を書いた紙回すから、各自手抜きがバレないように頑張れよ。バレなきゃ手抜きしていいなんて教師としていいのかよ。いいに決まってんだろう。んじゃ解散。昼に教室に集合して、その後解散になるから勝手に帰るなよ。After the very brief homeroom, I go and get changed into my gym uniform before he heading to the place written on my slip of paper. Someone tells me that he like, doesn't have her gym uniform with her. What? Also, why are they not wearing their gym uniforms? You didn't get hit by any of that, did you, Yuzu? If you're worried, you always got a shield right here in me. <laughs> but jeez, I'm sure glad we got this place. Yuzu, Genki, Momo, and I have been assigned to the same area, naturally, meaning that we can goof off and have fun with this. We all basically have to, all we have basically have to do is sweep all the dirt out of the entrance way. Well, thanks to almost sand attack on Genki, we already got both of it done with. Huh? Ooh, majida. We're basically just screwing around, but we're not neglecting our job. Like we've still got plenty of time until it ends. Hey, you think we'll get in trouble if we leave this area? Just wait a minute. Hmm. あと5分くらいで見回りの人が来るからその人さえごまかせちゃえば大丈夫みたい。Momo, you scary. Uh, where'd you get that info from? ちょっとジャスティスに貸しがあってね。ああ。Yeah, Justice actually does borrow games from Momo a lot. But back on topic, there's nothing we can do.、Uh, there's nothing we can really play within the entrance way. Is there really anything? Nothing fun somewhere around here? Trying to think of something we can do for once, for fun, once the teachers are gone. Ja, Korewa Dokana. Konoma, Omosiro Yapri Mitsketan Dekedo, Kiosketachi Yatemi. Why just us two? Sorega so you upri da Karadayo. Ah, okay. Hmm, let me see this thing. Borrow Momo's phone and check the app, app's user guide. Apparently, it takes photos of two people and determines the compa compatibility from that. Oh no. Looks fun.、Uh, I say we give it a shot. What do you think, Yuzu? -Yu? It's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be horrible compatibility. It's either gonna be like 0% or 100%. And I'm leaning towards more on the 0% side. Alright,、uh, you do the honor, Momo. That's kind of embarrassing. She's squishing up against me with a, her arm linked around mine, and God, so cute! I want to give her a big hug right now. But having that preserved forever in a photograph would be way too embarrassing, so I'll I'll restrain myself. Hi, 結果が出たよ。二人の愛想は百パーセント。Okay. ずっとずっとお幸せにこのラブラブカップルね。You dirty little little birds. Sweet, we got a perfect score. With a low percentage, if a low percentage came off, I'd probably just write it off as superstitious bullshit. But I'm happy we got a high number. Yuzu must be too. She's beaming innocently and still clinging on to me. I guess you and I were bound by the registering of fate, Yuzu. It's official now. <laughs> It's your fault, Momo. <laughs> He's dead inside now. Hey, Momo, 
100% ってありきたりっぽくてつまんねえよなまあ面白みとしてはそうだねこういうアプリって 100% とか出やすそうっていうかありきたり That jealousy I hear Why don't you try it if it's so BS How dare they? How dare they? いきなり取るなよしかもなんでモモと Too late それはこっちが言いたいよ Mom and Genki happen to be standing right next to each other now, so I snap a quick photo. Eh, come on, it'll be fun. I saw 180%! Then I'm a couple of people! 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 Why is the title, th the the title screen theme play? Huh? 180%? And we're compatible with us? What the fuck designed this thing? And why is 100% not the highest percentage? Yuzu looks shocked, so I imagine she's probably thinking the same thing as I am. So, I'm going to say that he's getting desperate! He's getting desperate! Genki, what are you saying? I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. Run! Run! Momo! Run! Momo's temperament collapses as he pushes Genki away as hard as he can. I'd probably run the fuck away if Genki came on to me like that. <laughs> Can you use this on things besides people? Hmm, I guess it doesn't. I guess this thing gives out those lucky locations or whatever once you got to 250. Sounds like a fuck spot to me. But yikes, Genki's more compatible with inanimate objects than actual people. He's fucking crying. <laughs> Well, you said it's full of shit, so there you go. Man, no use in taking that crap seriously. You see, something wrong. I'm quoting from this app, apparently. Sure, we're not as compatible as uh, the two turds, but uh, who cares? We're in love. Mitomitakunaikido, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but like, why are you so calm about the possibility of me being in a photo with another girl, my dear Yuzuyu? I said you wouldn't want you and one with another man. Let me just start with this topic. This dumb map isn't something we're taking seriously. Were you listening to me? We really should stop this, I know, but uh, if we don't do it, usually we'll lose sleep over it. Huh? If you say so, Yuzu looks so serious, it's probably. It'd probably take a tranquilizer as a dog to stop her. Are you really okay with me doing this with another girl, Yuzu? I'm 
Alright, I'm ready whenever you are. It's not really something I've ever thought about before, but uh, yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little curious. <clears throat> Apparently our first talk is Mochizuki. Yep, we knocked it out lightning quick. Sorry, Yuzu is a little antsy and we need your help to calm her down. She just wants a photo of me and you together for this dumb app thingy. She wants to test and see how our compatibility fares up against mine with other girls. If they use his mood worsening as Rina and I line up side by side, like honestly, God, I really just want him to get like uh, uh, down on on one knee. Facing the camera with her behind it, just going, <laughs> just not serious at all. Touch my arm and I will a elbow your face. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> hey, cut that out. I'm really not sure how you interpret that as a joke. The result came through and Momo's face tenses up. I have a really bad feeling about this. I can just tell. I can just tell. I can just tell that the person who made that app is going to be found dead in the ditch the next morning. I saw 300% bonus! App keeps on giving its feedback. It's wonderful feedback. I realized so well why Momo fell silent. Uh, Miss App Lady, I don't want your bonus. Is that Seems <laughs> Yuzu's reactions gave reaction gave it all away. Hello, Yuzu. She starts power walking away in a fury. Shit, this isn't going well. I really hope the other results come out better. It's gonna get to Imari just like a thousand. Sure do. I could almost feel her sympathy blended in with what she just said, but yeah, right now I need to catch up with these of you. Uh... What? They're fucking well just as much as we were! Like, dude, Justice, what are you doing? You look like a kid on a playground! So, Justice! Chiritori to ka shikyo da ro! Yaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Guess she and Himari are the only ones actually cleaning. The boys sure don't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> it appears that Yuzu, the hunter, has discovered her next target. <laughs> so you want me to stand in the middle? <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, ladies. <laughs> She wants me to get a photo of all of us. My girlfriend has lost her mind over a mere phone app. I briefly explained what it is to them. They agree to it as long as Yuzu is okay with it. Sorry for making you guys go along with this. I only wish I could stop her. I'm looking at hers and I'm getting a no. <laughs> Just looking at her, she's glaring goddamn daggers at us. Uh, do you want the shot of us three, Yuzu? Ay ay ay, she can be a real demon at times like at, at times. By the looks on her faces here again, Tomomi are still having doubts about this, and I don't blame them. Oh, I don't look forward to goddamn Himari though. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. It's like Himari just gotta be 500, then he gets accident accidentally gets a shot with him and justice, and it's just a thousand. <laughs> Is it gonna be something like that? Is that gonna be the joke? Or him and Genki get a thousand? <laughs> Anyways, uh... <laughs> yeah, good for you, Yuzu. I have no idea. She's basically skipping and hopping around in place and joy. That, that place and joy, not in place and joy. I'm fucking idiot, stupid. Uh, of course, I'm glad to see her in such high spirits, but as a boyfriend, I think we should already know our affinity with each other without having to use some app. <laughs> Just congratulate her and pat her on the back. Oh no. <laughs> 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 he is scared for his fucking life! Cow <laughs> <laughs> bone no! See, let's, let's back it up! You already know that, uh, you know, you, you got one lower. Like, that's, that's fine, right? Yeah, <laughs> 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 I've got it just imagine the more you had to go, she just takes it. <laughs> Momo fearfully passes his phone to Yuzuyu. His reaction alone already tells me to expect the worst. Sorry, uh... But your phone's the only one with the app. Eh, yeah, I'll do it later. <laughs> just Bob was just trying to lower the calamity as much as fucking possible, and then Genki comes in. <laughs> Yeah, I know she has no int intentions, but damn, it's still gonna hurt for her. 
I should probably stop using you soon before she runs her mouth any further and causes some serious damage. Just calm down, use you! It's just an app! Don't take it seriously! Okay? But let's stop taking photos with this thing, okay? Then the school's bell chimes, signaling the end of a cleanup of, of clean up, clean up time. Just telling her not to worry about it would probably probably won't do anything, yeah. Just sucks seeing her in such a bad mood. I rack my I, I rack my brains for ideas as another bell, bell rings to signal the end of honeymoon and school letting out for the day. Did they say honeymoon instead of homeroom? I wish to jam this thing against my head through the frontal plate and into my frontal lobe. Now, how do I do? I'm now alone, my absentmindedly watching Yuzu swim in the pool. The way here, we met Marco and Yuzu, and, Mark, uh, and Yuzu instantly started whining, saying that my compatibility with her would probably be 200%. The 500% score was obviously a load of BS, but I guess Yuzu is not taking it that way. You did well. I call out to Yuzu as she climbs out of the pool. We determine our own compatibility, not some stupid app, just ignore that thing. Yuzu, what's wrong? My goal was to cheer her up, but she suddenly clings to me, not even caring about the other people around. <laughs> no duh we do. Our compatibility is the best there is. Would we have even fallen in love if we weren't? Plus we know each other's front each other front to back, and you can't do that if we're not if you're not and you can't do that if you're not compatible. My uniform gets wet from her soaking swimsuit, but I'm not in the mood to worry about that. Yuzu isn't the time to fawn over me in front of others, so she must be feeling super bad if she's doing this in front of the, her entire team. Yeah, we reach others first. どんな風に振る舞えばいいかとか。そういうのも必死に考えたんだよ。頑張って、頑張って。好きって気持ち伝えてきたつもりなの。でもさ、不安にもなっちゃうんだ。私より本当にふさわしい人がいるんじゃない
can tell that she's always looking out for after, uh, looking after her other team members, but she's especially worried about Yuzuya right now. Man, she was lucky to have such caring people around her. Yuzuya picks up her bag, and we head out to the uh, and we head out of the pool area. Um, hello, Yuzuya. Uh, there's a no-no place for a boy like me. Oh, right. Uh, well, this will dry off when we get outside. Oh, boy. Hey, that's not the... She whispers in my ear as she locks the door to one of the showers. Wait, come down easier. Why is tripping me? This just says staring at me in expectation. What's more, she's pushing out her giant breasts, showing them off. She gently starts stroking my cack. I don't remember this being the uncensored version. Take the grab it! I'm just. We saw a man to escape the shower room without getting caught. Oh no, the others came to shower as well. Whisper. I'm still not like, letting my guard down till we get out of the school building, but Yuzu's mood has shut up since we left the shower room. <laughs> you should see how happy you look. Oops. Sheesh, where did all that suck from earlier go? But I gotta say, she really does look super cute when she's happy. Well, I was surprised to see you being that assertive, but I kinda like it. Of course I won't. You're the cutest when you're smiling, and then I wanna see you upset. Yuzu, you're the only girl that level fill the girlfriend position for me, so have some confidence in yourself. Mm, unfortunately, I don't have one of those. <laughs> well, I do have a bride position. And you gotta be in the girlfriend position as a prerequisite. <laughs> uh, you see you. <laughs> I never do that! I'm sorry, I really was joking! I don't mean to worry you. I didn't mean to worry you. Oh. I really shouldn't have said that. She's all teary-eyed now. My chest tightens uh, oppressively as the regret seeps in. Right, yeah, so I'm sorry. You still love a jerk like me. I'm actually, I actually wouldn't mind that, to be honest. I'm glad she loves me to the point of tears, but I really should make her cry. Sorry, I'll never make a joke like that again. So, uh, will you still be my girlfriend? <laughs> of course I will. If you left me over that joke, I'd feel so much regret I'd have, have straight up tw died twice over. Well, I always want to be with you, Yuzu. If you broke up with me over that, I'm not lying when I say I would have died. <laughs> I love you, Yuzu, more than anything in the entire universe. This feels like the end of the, ru the, the route. Was that a lick there? But, hey, don't lick me while we're kissing! Feels good, alright, but I'm getting bad feelings about this. Yes, huh, what'd you just do? You, you did? On my neck! Everyone's gonna see that! What the hell? Oh. 
Oh my! Oh my! Sheesh, you little rascal, you. Like, I don't know why, but over, over the course of this goddamn route, she's just steadily been getting better and better. And I think it, it peaked just now. I guess I gotta give you one, too. <laughs> then how does that not apply to me? Hey, get back here! <laughs> you can't catch me! That depression from earlier is a thing of the past, and our relationship is back to normal. I gotta make sure that it uses you and know I love her every day from now on. Thinking that to myself, I give chase. Well, I guess this isn't the end yet. Honest guy, I feel like next part is probably gonna be the end of Yuzuyu's route, so... Whoops! Did not mean to click there! See, jump back! Uh, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh... See you guys next time! Bye-bye!